Welcome back. And let's start a bulletin from the historic event which is taking place in the Korea. The leaders of North and South Korea took small steps to make the big leap towards peace in Korean Peninsula. Kim Jong-un made history after he crossed the border into the South Korea to hold talks with his counterpart Moon Jae in at the Chus village of Pan Munjom in the demilitarized zone after two rounds of delegation level talks, the two leaders signed key agreements. The signing ceremony was followed by a joint declaration by two leaders. The two sides agreed to ending the war in Korean Peninsula and work towards peace. Militaries from both sides will be meeting next month. Korea has also agreed to help the families affected by the Korean War. I have crossed to such a borderline and I come here. We hope that the peninsula could hear more signs of peace and on top of that we are going to take a lot of effective measures so that peace and prosperity will settle down here in the Korea Peninsula and we will have a new chapter of development. We will also take some tangible measures to implement the above-mentioned declaration and agreement. I and Moon Jae-in, during our meetings, have discussed a lot of topics and issues. And we have published the uh, Pemunjong Declaration together. And I know that the whole world has been following closely on us here in Pemanjong. We will learn from the history and we will not repeat the mistakes before. We will keep such candid communication and treat each other as equals. From now on, the peninsula will not see war again. We will move towards the pathway of peace. In the past years, because of separation, our peninsula has undergone a lot of suffering, but we are convinced that we can move past such an obstacle. That's why we're standing here. Today, together with uh, Mr. Kim Jong-un, we bear in mind the peaceful mission of the peninsula and we have uh, reached a lot of agreements and consensus for denuclearization. We have uh, built our consensus. This would be the starting point for the new chapter in the peninsula and we hope that in the future both nations on the peninsula could work closely together and march forward with the same goal. The historic summit began early morning with the two leaders meeting at the Korean border and shaking hands with each other for a really long time. Kim Jong-un is the first North Korean leader to set foot in South Korea since the 1950 Korean War. Kim told his host Moon Jae that he was flooded with emotion as he walked into the neighboring South. Before the joint declaration, Kim and Moon took part in another symbolic event and planted a pine tree on the military demarcation line. The tree dates from 1953. That is a year when the Korean War Armistice was signed and was planted in soil taken from North and South Korea. The water taken from rivers in both the North and South was poured over it. The leaders, names and the words, plant, peace and prosperity was also inscribed on the plaque. Early in the day, Kim left the peace house after the first round of talks. Both the leaders had lunch separately. Before the formal talks, Kim and Moon held a closed-door meeting at the Peace House. The delegation level talks were held at the Peace House where the two leaders discussed a range of issues, including North Korea's nuclear weapons program. A farewell concert was held shot by Lago to see off the North Korean leaders as well. Our senior correspondent, Amesh Ramachandran, uh, who was at DMZ, which is Demilitarized Zone, who tracked this historic talks. Here are the big takeaways from our colleague Ramesh, who covered this meeting from dawn to dusk. He came, he saw, he concurred with Moon Jae-in that now there is no turning back and that it is in the interest of the two Koreas that uh, they have permanent peace on the Korean Peninsula. 
but the big takeaway from the third inter-Korean summit which concluded in Panmunjom village inside the demilitarized zone that separates North Korea from South Korea is that Moon Jae-in told in his joint press statement along with Kim Jong-un that North Korea has agreed that complete denuclearization will be achieved and that it remains their common goal. Now on balance, Kim Jong-un has uh, shared a new facet of his personality, one that is more amenable to reason, more uh, reasonable, more accommodating, and that uh, this might work to his advantage going forward in changing the world's perception of him as a madman or unpredictable politician. On balance, the challenges going forward remain to resolve the other contentious issues of unification of inter-Korean relations. But Moon Jae-in and Kim Jong-un have declared in their joint press statements that they will maintain regular contacts going forward and that Moon Jae-in will be traveling to Pyongyang later this year for a reciprocal visit to North Korea. Also, that uh, they, will, uh, dis they will stop all uh, propaganda broadcasts uh, that are beamed into their respective territories across the DMZ, the demilitarized uh, zone, uh, from the 1st of May, and that uh, this will set the stage. This is a good omen, so to speak, for the much-anticipated meeting between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. Remember, Donald Trump has always said that he wants North Korea to expressly commit itself to complete, verifiable and irreversible denuclearization. And that, to my mind, uh, has been uh, indicated in, in so many words in Moon Jae-in's uh, joint press statement, but he said that complete denuclearization shall be their common objective. All in all, a fruitful, uh, successful uh, inter-Korean summit, one which uh, holds, uh, which board, boards well for the two Koreas and their respective peoples. I'm Ramesh Ramachandran in Seoul for Beyond. As the two leaders created history, the world was watching. The inter-Korean meeting is significant not only for the peninsula but also for the rest of the globe. Minutes after the meeting between Kim Jong-un and Moon Jae began, reactions started pouring in. U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted, and I quote, After a furious year of missile launches and nuclear testing, a historic meeting between North and South Korea is now taking place. Good things are happening, but only time will tell. Japan praised the efforts put in by the South Korea in bringing about the history summit, but the chief cabinet secretary held back from speculating about any possible outcome. <laughs> ま、the meeting between the two Koreas comes ahead of a Kim Trump meeting and White House is keenly monitoring the development, though the meeting is over, but it kept them busy through the day. In a statement, the White House said, and I quote, we are hopeful that talks will achieve progress towards a future of peace and prosperity for the entire Korean Peninsula. The United States appreciates the close coordination with our ally, the Republic of Korea, and looks forward to continuing robust discussions in preparation for the planned meeting between President Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un in the coming weeks. When the leaders of North and South Korea met each other at the military demarcation line earlier today, they symbolically united a peninsula that has been divided for the decades. Kim Jong-un created history by becoming the first North Korean leader to cross the line dividing the two Koreas since the Korean War came to an end in 1953. Kim Jong-un and Moon Jae-in the first shook hands as each stood on the either side of the military demarcation line. That divides the two countries. They were even seen holding hands as they smiled at each other warmly. In a symbolic move, Moon then joined Kim on the northern side of the line before both leaders stepped over to the southern side. After crossing into the southern side, Kim and Moon were photographed with two children from the South Korean village, Dai Song Dong, inside the demilitarized zone. They smiled and posed with the leaders at the start of the welcoming ceremony. Both the leaders enjoyed a traditional performance of Arirang, which is a traditional Korean folk song known in the North and the South.
앞으로! 김 정 은, entered the peace house on the southern side of the demilitarized zone and signed the guest book. Kim Jong Un wrote a new history begins now, hinting at the North Korea's willingness to usher in peace between the two Koreas. The oval-shaped table in the meeting room has its own special significance. It was made specifically for these talks. It is 2.018 meters in diameter, marking the year of the historic meeting. The chairs are made of walnut wood. The flowers on the table are peonies, a traditional greeting symbol, and daisies, which represents peace. There are also some wild flowers picked inside the demilitarized zone. A lot of thought also went behind the stacks served to the journalists at the press center. The stacks were shaped after a widely popular cartoon character across South Korea called Ryan the Lion. South Korean President Moon Jae-in greeted Kim Jong-un at the military demarcation line, making Kim the first North Korean leaders to set foot in the South since the 1950 Korean War. In an unplanned move, Kim invited Moon to step briefly across the demarcation line to North Korea before the two leaders crossed back into South Korea holding hands. Kim who received the red carpet welcome, joked he hoped Moon Jae would enjoy the North Korea's famous cold noodles that he brought from Pyongyang. After stepping into South Korea, the North Korean leaders signed the visitor's book with the message, a new history starts from an age of peace, from the starting point of history. Before a closed-door meeting, the South Korean President Moon Jae-in said, the two leaders have all day to talk and must make up for the last 10 years. The two Koreas last held former talks in 2007, while Kim told his South Korean counterpart that he doesn't want a repeat of past where the nations were unable to fulfill previous agreements. Kim also said that the two nations should hold talks often to resolve the differences. The North Korean leader hoped that the frank talks would lead to good outcome. Kim Jong-un said, and I quote, we should have a positive meeting and going forward we should be determined if we can get our heads together, then the 11 year lost can be made up and if we can open our hearts to speak and if we can draw positive results from the meeting, that would be good. And instead of going to the drawing board, we should move forward.